Hey guys, it's Natalie here, back again, Barmy Army. It's Spurs on Sunday. I'm back with Stephen again. Um, we spoke about the first game. Spurs have improved since then. Tell me a bit about how your season's gone so far. Well, I don't. It, it's exactly as I. It's planning out to be. We are beating the teams that we need to beat, and we are not beating the teams that we don't expect to beat. So it's pretty much gone exactly as we would desire it to go. We're beating the West Ham's, we're beating these, you know, people, okay, we lost to Everton, but they've improved on last season. We drew at Birmingham. We've beaten all the little clubs which we need to beat. It's just you lot at the top we have trouble with, the Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United, and Manchester City, having problem with. We should have beaten Reading the other week. I was down at Wickham for that. How we threw away a lead in the last 10 minutes, God only knows, but we did. And we yeah. lost 3-1. And so that was just careless, trying to attack rather than sitting, game management, call it what you will. And we didn't do it. And we lost 3-1. About this, which you probably haven't noticed. When we played uh, the Hive, mm-hmm. we were fifth and you were sixth. Yeah. Exactly as we are now. Yeah. So it's like... Nothing has changed, even though you have two games in hand and will overtake. Yeah. So I, I really want to know, and the explanation I want to know from you is, how the heck did you lose to Bristol City? I don't know. And this is the problem. We were struggled against Bristol, and they got that one goal. I think it's one shot, one goal, Ebony Salmon. Our player, our, our basically. Our own, one of our own. And um, she came back and haunted us. And I think this is a problem that we've had. United, we've not been clinical, and against the big teams, they punished us. But this time, it's again, it was against the bottom of the table, and they punished yeah. us. And when you don't take your chances in this league, you don't win, and that's what's happened. Yeah. And I think it's a lesson we've learned. But also, we struggled against Brighton. We went two nil up, and they're a difficult team to beat because they don't come out very much. They tend to sit there, and you know we. Beaten perch at the last minute, but they're very difficult side. And she did the same for you. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> you've played now. Um, West Ham. It was a really good win that right at the last minute. I mean, West Ham beat us, which I was uh, disappointed about as well. What you know, you got that never say die attitude, like you said. West Ham was a last minute win. This was a last minute yeah. win. Reality we had a scoring your goals now. Yeah, we played West Ham. Yeah, we played West Ham four times this season. Mm-hmm. Once in a pre-season friendly, which we scored the late goals in to win, to turn it round to win two one. We then played them at London Stadium, quite a comfortable win really. Yeah. We then played them in the Continental Cup. We led two nil into the 90th minute, but then conceded two stupid goals, mm-hmm. so it's two we won on penalties. And now we played them again, again with a late winner. This time, again, going our way. So the games against West Ham have all been pretty tight, pretty close, typical derbies, nobody giving anything but late goals deciding them. Mm. If we could get that against you, I'd be delighted, but we won't. Because we will try and attack you. We yeah. will try and play open football, and it won't work. So I'm guessing you think against the bigger teams, you should sit back, you should be defending, you should be tight. I, yeah, we game against Manchester City. Two down inside three minutes. Blur, what were we doing? We weren't controlling the game. We we got the ball and we tried literally try to outplay Manchester City. We are never at the moment gonna be able to do that. So why did we even attempt to try and play a little game? So we were behind two down, then we got back into it again, and then we let two goals go again. We have to learn to defend a bit. It's not all about knocking the ball in the net willy-nilly. We played well against the Arsenal until the Arsenal eventually scored twice in the London Derby. We played well in the first game at Chelsea. In the Continental Cup against Chelsea, we went to the Kings Meadow. We were awful. Got thrashed, deserved to get thrashed. Mm. You know, it's just we've got to learn that there are four teams in this division who are technically better than us, technically superior to us, and therefore, we must try and get a draw. Mm. Go out trying to win. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you come out like that today and give us some space. 
I'm we falling. will, because that's the way we play. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous, yes. but it's true. We, are, we, we will say one nil up at Reading, and we're trying to get two nil up at Reading. Yeah. Why couldn't we just be content to stay one nil up? No, and we let yeah. it free go. All on the break, all because everybody's upfield. Steve, I want to ask you a question, and I'm sure you probably know what oh. I'm going to ask you. Emma Mitchell on loan. There's been a yeah. lot of talk about it. What's your views? Well, she's played very well in the game and a half she's played. And anybody who's got any quality and experience will quite welcomely have, irrespective of who they've played for before. Because to me, that doesn't matter. If she's played for Arsenal, maybe Arsenal are trying to do us a favour. I don't know. Not that we're ever going to get relegated or anything like that, because that's not going to happen. I don't know. She's not getting game time for them. She will get game time for us. And on Sunday against West Ham, where you've seen the goal, excellent goal. What yeah, more possibly. can you want? Mm. You know, we're probably overrun with left backs. It's probably the one position we didn't actually need anybody, but we'll take it. So if they wouldn't let us have them, we'll have them. Just a shame they couldn't let, let us have the Yana That would have been yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We'll take the one off, off their hands. Yeah. So obviously, I know you sort of said you can see it going the same way. Yes. Give me a score prediction then. Well, I think you'll win three or four nil. Really? Because I think we'll try and attack. And it. No, please do not. Please sit back and try for nil nil or one one. You're Let more you... confident than me. Well, obviously, you know, you're you're not in the greatest form. Mm. I was a bit worried about what Casey Stoney said about Liverpool should be the team. They so don't want to see Liverpool relegated. Well, does that mean when you play the rearranged game against Liverpool, you're going to throw it? No. Yeah. Never well, no. Exactly. The fans will not allow that. I'll tell I you. Know. I thought that was a weird thing to say. Oh, we want Liverpool to stay up. I thought, do you, <laughs> you know, Manchester United, Liverpool, at no level do you want the other team to stay up. Yeah, yeah. So, but obviously your form has got a bit dented. Yeah, definitely. So, so you did win midweek, didn't you? Very tight, very tough. Which, whereas we should have probably been, like you said, 3-4. But instead, we allowed them back in. And then it was nervous in the last 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, I, I hope and that's when a... Spurs score, it sounds like. Yeah. Last 10 minutes. If, if we are not too far behind. Mm. That's a bit that worries me, that we will try and play football. Because it's in our nature to do that, all through the club. And sometimes it just is not what you should be doing. We do it first thing, then do it. Yeah. Sometimes just in, be boring, be dull, park the bus. Sometimes well, it's been the bus, that's what the fans were singing at the end. We were two nil up and we were singing, park the bus. <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to see it. No, do it. no, and that's the sort of thing we'll do. We'll, we'll leave the bus in the car park. For the first half, which time you'll probably have scored a couple of goals. I mean, you know, I'll watch it on the FA iPlayer thingy. So I will be watching the game just too early a kickoff. But though there will be fans there because the, the Yorkshire, South Yorkshire mob will be trans coming across the Pennines to watch the game at Lee. So there will be some Spurs representation there. Good, there. Well, there's a good crowd from Spurs. But no, I'm going to go with three. Two or three, one United, hopefully. Come on, back to winning ways. Oh, yeah. we, might, we might eke a goal out, but I think we, if we do eke a goal out, it'll be the last goal of the game. So either you'll be 3 0 up or 2 0 up, then we'll score. I oh. don't think we'll score beforehand. Just mm. the way I see it. I mean, I could be totally wrong. Mm. You know, I mean, can't be right all the time. So my predictions yeah, yeah. are notorious. Incredible, I so. hope you're right. I hope you're right, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, but I just fear I am right because I, I you know, so I, I would celebrate a point because the point would mean one, we stay above you, which you still got two games in hand, but it's you know, we've got a difficult game coming up after that. You know, next weekend we've got a really difficult FA Cup tie. Well, you've got some team called Manchester City in it, yeah, exactly. We are playing the absolute might of Barnsley. She might look at be looking at that city game towards the end. You never know. But Steve, thanks a lot. It's a pleasure again. You know, you came on the first time. You come on a second time. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm not.
predicting big things for us. I am predicting big things when we play Barnsley in the FA Cup. Yeah. We can't but, score six or seven in that. We never will. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot, Steve. Okay. Sorry. Cheers. Take care. Um, Bye. 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 Bye.